If we go to our surface menu, right there we find height field from image. If we go to the surface toolbar, we also find height field from image right there. What this command does, it will take a grayscale height map uh, and generate a height field surface based on the grayscale values, uh, meaning that black, the darkest colors, black and the dark grays will be lower and white uh, will be the higher points. So it creates a grayscale height uh, surface based on your image map. Now I went onto Google and I just found a uh, height map of the Grand Canyon. You can search Google and find uh, many of these. So if we go to our surfaces and click on height field from image, notice uh, that I am in uh, meters. So my template is already set up in large objects meters. And here is the height map that I have chosen. And there is uh, it's a large high resolution height field, grayscale map. I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to define the first corner and go over and define the width. Once I do that, I'm going to set up the number of sample points to 100 by 100. And the height, uh, let me make that 2,000. Uh, 2,000 uh, meters. I'm going to click OK and Rhino creates a height map surface of the Grand Canyon. And something that I always like to do when I do something like this is, see right now I have this uh, surface based off of that height map that I downloaded. If I go to the properties of this surface, and I go to, so properties is just this uh, object properties icon over here. When this opens up, if I go to the materials section, and I select my surface, and then I change to object, down here, I can go to my color uh, option, and then apply a bitmap texture. And in this case, I'm going to choose the same image that I downloaded from Google, from the internet. And once I do that, that image gets applied to my surface and gives it a lot more realism. I could also go in with this image, for example, into like Photoshop and colorize it, give it some color, give it the orange gr uh, ground color of the Grand Canyon, of all that area there, all that rock and everything, give it some color and then apply it and then I would have a color view of the Grand Canyon. And as you can see there, we can see the whole little path down there and all the detail. 